hi, it's Laura with an Inviting Life video, this time about how to tell your phone who's boss. How to remind it that you own it and not the other way around. The first way is the hardest way, but I've been doing this, and that is the sacred morning hour. What it means is the first hour of the day, you make that phone wait for you while you do other things. You can read, you can listen to music, you can write, you can do exercises, you can do anything you want, but you cannot look at that phone. This takes a bit of discipline, but it really helps you start your day in a much calmer way. And personally, I find that when I start the day like that, I look at the phone far less throughout the day. So, a bit of a power trip. The second thing is my 10 minute trick, and this is a fabulous way to find time you don't think you have. So the notion is that, say I have to leave the house in seven minutes to get a train. Usually we think seven minutes, what can I do with that? Meh, I think I'll just sit here and check my social media. But if you get creative and say seven whole minutes, what can I do with that? I can water the plants, I can wash a few dishes, I can throw in some laundry. You can very quickly use those bits of time, three minutes, five minutes, seven minutes, to get done little things that pile up if you don't get to them. The third thing is easy and you can do this right now and that is short errands, no phones. So say you're at the office and you want a coffee. Go get the coffee, don't take the phone. Maybe you're picking up dry cleaning. You don't need a phone to pick up dry cleaning. It gives you just a few minutes to clear your head and it's a reminder that there is actually a real world out there that you exist in and you can finally notice it. And my last tip is phone free feasts. Where there is a table, surrounded by your friends, covered with beautiful food, the phone does not belong. It will break up the exchange, it pulls you away from the here and now, and it deprives you of a really important experience. Don't let your phone do that. It's not invited. So if you have ways to manage that little demon in your life, let us know in the comments and do subscribe. I'll see you next time.